Hello YouTube, Robin Hood Bricks here, and very exciting because it's Brick Hall O'Clock and we've got another package from Bricklink.com. Okay, so this package is a bit of a mixture, I believe, in that it's got uh, a few very essential parts for our uh, haunted subway build, uh, but it also should have lots of parts for all sorts of different projects. Loads of bags there. Oh, some stickers, we can start with those. And loads of bags there. Oh, and something that nearly got away. Uh, yep, that seems to be it. Right, so what looks like a very clean, neatly packed order, so that's very nice to see. Uh, but yeah, let's start with these sticker sheets. Some of these are very urgently due for, well, Friday's video. So, and here is one of the very important ones itself. So this is from the Newbury Subway set. No, it isn't. It's from the Welcome to the Hidden Side uh, set, 70427, uh, which is the kind of blue mysterious one with a subway entrance and uh, three ghosts and a spooky tree and so on. Uh, and I wanted this not actually for the round city subway sign, uh, but I could use that somewhere, I suppose. I wanted it for these ones, which well, I've got two of them, uh, that say Newbury Park, because I thought they looked like a sort of uh, tube sign, subway sign, which is indeed exactly what they are in that set, uh, and a little bit sort of worse for wear and decayed. So I think they'll go on those black tiles, the one by four tiles that will be on the back wall of my haunted subway station. So I need two of those because there's kind of uh, one kind of there, one kind of there with the three different sort of sections of coloured tiles along that back wall. So yeah, I have to see if I can use those old city subway signs as well because it could be that that was the old logo before the sort of newer entrances or something and they're just on the floor or something like that. So that might be quite good fun. Uh, I'm just going to skip that one for a moment and move straight on to this one because this is the Newbury subway set, 70430. So that's the one kind of down the tunnel with the end of the subway car in it. And that, much like mine, uses the sticker number 30T on the end. So I already had one of those for one end of my um, subway train that I did on Monday, but I wanted another one just so it could have the same uh, number on each end. And I've already used this skateboard sticker now, but there's uh, nothing to stop me having two similar uh, skateboards in my town. Because that one says meow on one end and boo to ghosts. Uh, and there's a few others that I can probably use on there. A bit of wood, that sign for something, Central Street, and all these sort of gauges and cogs. I mean, I can put these ones on any old fairground ride and it'll look like it's all gone wrong, <laughs> which might be really good fun as well. So that's a good sheet to have a few of. Now this one's an Injago one, as you can probably immediately guess, uh, and it's from set 70677, Land Bounty, which is kind of a massive ship, as you'd expect for the bounty, but um, it's on wheels, uh, but it's still got the sails. <laughs> so it's a bit of a mishmash, that one, but nonetheless, uh, the main reason I bought it, you might be able to imagine, is for that one there, which is basically a computer screen, with two energy bars at the top and two ninjas fighting. Looks a bit like Mortal Kombat, that old arcade game. So I thought I could use it for an arcade game maybe one day. It was a pretty cheap sheet. Uh, don't know if I can use the rest for much, to be honest, but I do very much like that one, so I think it was worth the uh, cost for that one alone. So that's really good to have. Right, so this is a sticker sheet that I didn't have yet. I've pretty much bought all of the uh, Hidden Side sticker sheets at one time or another, it seems. Uh, this is a new one for me. It's 70429, El Fuego Stunt Plane. And I never really wanted that set because the planes are just a bit too big for my city scale-wise, I think. And a lot of these are going to be quite hard to use. But I've got a couple of uh, bullseye ones there. Uh, but I really thought that these F ones in a kind of flame and these ones that say El Fuego might be used for some sort of Mexican restaurant or something like that, maybe. I don't know. But it was uh, about 28p, if I'm remembering correctly, so well worth the risk. And that one looks quite fun. Almost looks kind of like a flux capacitor from Back to the Future or something. Yes, I'm sure I could use that somewhere as well in the future. So may as well get that since it was so cheap. Uh, and then last but not least, 
This one, which is from Monkey Kid, as you can probably recognize as well. So this is from the Pigsy's Food Truck, 80009. Uh, and that is the great big pink and white uh, food truck the Pigsy drives that's got a huge but awesome pig shooter on the top, which is almost tempting to make into a 3D sign in my city, I must say. Um, and it's got a couple of those cool sort of ironclad bull henchmen in it on motorcycles. Um, but since I got the noodle delivery truck last time on the Brick Hall, uh, the uh, free with purchase one, Polybag, I thought I'd get this sticker sheet just so I could have a noodle bar for it to be delivering for. So we've got the two major sort of signs there. I'll probably only use one of those, but we've got, what is he facing? No, it's the same one. He's facing to the left each side. Um, so that could be the main sign. Then you've got kind of a couple of side signs or something like that. Another one with a different sized logo on. You've got menu. What's that? It's almost like a sort of microwave front. That looks a bit odd. Uh, sign for peaches. So I could really make a really good noodle bar with all of these. Obviously, it will have to be pink. It'll probably have to involve a pig somewhere like Pigsy. But I do have those minifigures, so that shouldn't be too much of a problem. One thing I'd be really interested in knowing, if anyone can read these characters, is what each of these bits say. So we've got the main uh, title with four large characters. Then we've got the blue bit and then the white bit as well. I'm sure it just says something like tasty noodles, but uh, it'd be really interesting to know. So uh, do help me out if you can on that one. Right, so some awesome stickers there. Uh, like I say, three that are absolutely vital to our next build. Uh, and a few more for future builds, large and small. So excellent. Right, let's tip all these out. I think I cut through that bag when I opened it. Right, loads of things. Where to start? Right, so I've got... A million and one bags for a start. Let's go and use them again. So I got some of these uh, four by six modified plates in white, and I got two of those because they are the right size to take the uh, side stickers. So that's sort of in preparation for a noodle bar of the future, of which I haven't designed it yet. Uh, I'm just going to leap ahead to the other bag because I can see that I also got some of the bigger one. Three. I don't know why I got three, but there we are. That's for the big sign. Don't think I thought I'd use two of them. Oh yeah, but then I'd use the second one as an advert somewhere else in my city, of course. That's right. So I got two for that, and I think I needed a third one for a uh, a Heart Lake Mall big sticker that I've got uh, in a previous haul. So I got a third one of those as well. So they'll be really good for some big advertising hoardings on the side of buildings. Brilliant. Uh, some one by one by three bricks in brown. Hmm, can't remember why I got those, but it will be for a specific project. Because as you know, I generally buy exactly what I need rather than speculatively. Some red uh, plates, two by six. They're probably for my double decker bus, which will probably be coming soonish, I imagine, after we've finished all of the Halloween stuff. Some of those uh, triangular tiles. I think I bought these to use in my airport, but. Uh, because you can basically use a combination of these, obviously, to make, use two of them to make a kind of arrow. If you think about two, getting two white ones next to each other, you'd have an arrow shape with the other part being taken up by the grey one. Um, and I thought I'd have that on the end of a runway or something, but I don't think I'm going to be showing a runway now. And besides, I think the tiles I'll be using will be dark bluish grey rather than light bluish grey. So I'll use those for another project another day, but it'll be good to have those. Here's a very interesting piece. So this is from an Overwatch set, 75977, Junk Rat and Roadhog. And it's kind of the end piece of what was the sort of sidecar, I suppose, of that. Uh, and I just thought it was a really cool piece to play with, really. I haven't got a specific purpose for it at the moment, but it could be sort of modern art, or it could be some sort of sign or advertising on the outside of a building, perhaps. Or, well, goodness knows, it could be a normal feature that somebody sort of sprayed this graffiti face onto. Don't really know. Uh, so ideas for that uh, as well would be appreciated. But it's a really nice, bright and colourful part. And with it being so 3D, makes it quite interesting. So I love getting things like that just to make my city uh, a little bit more uh, different than other people's. 
What have we got here? We've got a couple of red mud guards. They're almost certainly for the uh, bus. Or what do you call fenders in the United States? You'd call them, wouldn't you? We call them mud guards. Uh, and then I've got three red bricks, some plates, red, dark blue. That's probably for my undersea base if it's dark blue. Black, probably the bus again. Here's a big windscreen piece. That'll be for the bus. That'll be the front windscreen. Well, that's nice. It's really good condition, that one. Not a single scratch on it. I'll try and keep it that way. Uh, oh, I'm not going to tell you why I bought that, though I did discover that I've got about four of these and I only needed uh, one anyway, so that was a couple of pennies, but is already useless. Uh, there for my bus. That's for another um, uh, squid. Not squid. What do I mean? Jellyfish. Yeah, that's to help me make another jellyfish with those uh, energy pieces that I got probably a couple of hauls back now. I keep getting more of them, so I keep getting needing the rest of the pieces to make them into finished jellyfish. Then I've got some uh, minifigure pieces. Oh, I've been looking forward to getting these for ages. They're very simple. They're just uh, flamish uh, yellow-orange uh, lower leg pieces. Uh, but they are the exact ones I need to complete the Harumi character that was part of the um, Gamers Market 71708. And this is my version of Harumi. Uh, so I can actually now remove her normal legs in the right colour and add these ones because all of the other parts were available on Lego Bricks and Pieces except for the legs, frustratingly. But now she is complete and looking wonderful. I've obviously changed the head and the hair because I wanted to kind of go for a Kill Bill type look with Uma Thurman. And I think that's pretty much it. I know the hair is not entirely right, but I just thought the... Uh, Lilac hair really worked with that outfit, whereas blonde next to yellow skin and this flamish orange might not work as well. But I think you'll agree that she looks absolutely great. So I'll have her in an interesting scene at some point. Then we've got some more torsos. So this is the torso from the Series 19 video game champ. I've already got that figure, but I can give this torso to somebody else because it's all covered in lovely icons of past uh, Lego things like Blacktron and Classic Space and Mtron and stuff like that. And he's got a gamer's t-shirt on underneath that as well. So that's a great torso to have several of. Uh, and talking of great torsos, this is one from the Series 19 Dog Sitter. So it's just sort of dungaree top with the uh, stripes on a t-shirt underneath, but with short sleeves. So I can use that very easily all over the city and yeah looks good good printing on front to back and i'll bring this bag in because i can see this is very relevant these are the legs from the same character the uh, dog sitter and i got five of these because that's all they had i mean they were quite reasonably priced one two three four five so you see i can use them together to make kind of a, a shorts version of the same dungarees or I could uh, just use those with any old torso, really. I mean, it could just be somebody with some shorts and some trainers on. You see what I mean? I mean, they look great, actually, like that. So I'm planning to use these just to get a bit more variety in the minifigures of Brick Nottingham uh, in the leg department, because it's just boring that everyone's always got single, uh, solid, coloured legs, uh, and there aren't many shorts available at all. So I'm sure we'll use some in combination with those but I've got extras as well. Yeah, and it was pricing them about the same price as you'd buy kind of a normal blank set, so very happy to buy those. Right, here's some uh, Technic axles, and these ones, I don't mind telling you, are so I can make another crab pot, just like I made for the back of my um, crab boat, but this time it's going to be on the ocean bottom uh, with crabs in it being rescued by a big, massive crab that you know I'm building. So that'll be a good scene. Lots of little interesting bits here. I've got some of the uh, quarter uh, circle sort of tiles in that turquoise teal colour. Some of those oh, um, what are they? tiles with a hole in, basically. I think I'm using those for a 3D sign, so I won't say any more on that just yet. Pick one of those with uh, one stud on. Uh, tap. One of those, must have needed one, a couple of those, can't remember what they're for. Uh, then we've got 
white and red plates. Yep, I forget about them. Lots of seats in blue. That will definitely be for the bus. And a few of these, which is probably for my uh, undersea creatures uh, from the Aqua Raiders. Things like the lobster, the squid, and the giant crab, because they use a lot of these pieces. Because when you kind of stack them, they're really good. They kind of look like uh, armor. You see, if you get a sort of row of them like that, it's almost like plates of armor that that uh, sort of uh, crustacean would have. Uh, inverted slopes in red and black. Presumably there for the bus, probably for the stairs, because this bus will be a double decker, if I didn't say that already. Uh, I've been buying these for large trees recently. More modified plates, all sorts there. Yeah, nothing crazy. Some more small bricks. Oh, I think I remember why I did buy these brown ones now. I think they're just to make more trees with. So if you've got an arch piece um, coming out one way to do a branch and you need to fill in the sort of gap next to it, then these are quite useful. So I think that's what they're for. Oh, more pieces for my giant squid. These are the parts of the tentacles. Obviously, it's got eight tentacles, and it needs lots of little bits of connectors and uh, hinge bits and all sorts to make it articulated. So that's what they are. Ah, now this has got some interesting bits in. Very interesting bits. So this is a newspaper, which is in a few sets, but I don't have one yet, but I do now. Uh, so this was in uh, four sets, I think, including uh, the Ghostbusters Firehouse. It was also in Apocalypse Burg and a Winter Village Station and things like that. But it's a nice one to have. So I can probably put that on the newsstand in my airport or in my uh, main station or something like that. Then I couldn't resist this sort of money bag with a big dollar sign on. And that's from the uh, DC series Cheetah minifigure. She's got one of those. I wouldn't mind a few more of those. So if I can have some robbers doing a bank robbery, they can be clutching these in uh, in their hands. Uh, and that was, I think it was just over 50p. So it wasn't too bad that. Uh, you'd almost expect to pay more. I got one dot from the uh, Series 1 Extra Dots, 41908. And I just wanted one winky smiley because <laughs> he's quite fun. I don't know where I'm going to use it probably on a shop sign or something like that, but I don't want loads and loads and loads of dots, but um, having one might be good fun somewhere. Uh, and then there's this, which you'll probably recognize um, from the uh, Pirates of the Barracuda Bay set, 21322. And when I first saw this, I thought it said Josie's in, as in somebody called Josie. Uh, but I see now that it's actually Jose, isn't it? Because it's got that accent over the E. So it's Jose's in. And it's got a bit of a flashback to the old guarded in sign, given that it's got sort of uh, two flagons and one of them is on its side and a bunch of grapes there. Uh, so I think that's a good flashback. I've actually got that uh, old sign. Where did I put it? Did I put it on my um, uh, crusty crab? Can't remember. So I'll probably have another drinking establishment somewhere. And if I do, this can be its sign. Uh, and if I don't, it can always be part of an advert or something. But it's just too lovely a sign to pass up, really, in that lovely dark blue. So I'm very happy to have that piece. Right, here's some more bits. Some inverted slopes in red. I think they're for the bus. And a few more of these 2x2 two two, uh, round bricks in trans uh, neon orange. And I used those for um, cargo. I think I was short three, so there they are. Got a big bag of these Friends flower pieces. Now these ones have got a bit of a stem, so they're a bit easier to use. But I think these were about a penny each, giving them away, so... I bought all he had, or she, all they had. <laughs> and there's some of those two long cheese wedge pieces, almost certainly for the bus again. And ditto all of those small plates and these medium-ish plates. Uh, there for my squid, I believe, more of the hinge modified plates. So they're the ones with the sort of ratcheted hinge on. Tip them all into the middle. There's a couple of more interesting pieces. I've just got one of those sort of micro figure, well, not quite micro figure, but almost, 
um, in Tan. And this will be part of some fancy buildings, uh, sort of frontage or something like that. They kind of look like a tiny miniature statue. Well, you could use it as a toy. I've got a couple of these, like Darth Vader and things like that, uh, from game sets that are quite good fun for toys. But given it's plain, it will look more likely to be sort of made of stone and a small statue on something or other. Uh, and one of those big saucepans. I kind of ran out of these after doing fa uh, fast food corner, yeah, because the adventure shop that's part of that, <laughs> I had a load of these pans all for sale, so ran out of those. So if I want to have, say, a noodle chef, then he'll probably need some pots and pans to do, uh, to bring everything up to the boil. Uh, then I've got, what, a couple of headlight bricks in red, panel in red, more of those trolley wheels, trying to think why I've got those, can't. No, can't remember. Uh, clamp piece in blue. One of those panel pieces in white. Can't remember why I got that either. Another one of those windscreen pieces. Oh, yeah, because it's a double decker, of course, isn't it? So we've got one for the windscreen on the top floor as well as in front of the driver. Also in a very good condition, so that's nice. Couple more plates in black. Yeah, I think after this order, I'm going to have enough to do that. To double decker bus so then we'll have two going around the city or rather three actually if you include the tour bus as well so yeah and all slightly different so that'd be good but all red which is uh quite important if you ask me always think of buses as being red they aren't in real life nottingham our buses tend to be uh kind of a horrible green more like bright green than that green uh and then they have sort of color coding on them but um london buses are always red after all now, I've got loads of 2x2 two two bricks in red as well. That's not for the bus. It's just because they're incredibly cheap, and I'm going to be using these, well, for all sorts of things probably, but to hold up stuff uh, when I do a table that's lower than the actual base plate layer. You do go through quite a lot of bricks. Once I bought uh, probably about five times that amount in black 2x2s, two and I'm, <laughs> I've used them all up, and they were originally bought for my fairground. So just in loads of different little projects, they just get whittled away <laughs> uh, and the same in yellow it doesn't really matter what color they are it's more about saving money really uh, and these are great because they're not even old and worn I mean they probably are used but I mean they look great definitely not too bad sometimes you get used bricks and they really look like they've led uh, a life already <laughs> then a couple more bigger plates so that red one's almost certainly for the bus. I can't remember what that white one's for. Hmm. Yeah, trying to think. Nope, can't remember what that's for, but it will be for something very specific. Ah, I remember this. So that's just a nice big gray brick, probably for use in some cliffs or something. Helps having these really big ones to sort of span a gap. I'll be doing those cliffs, well, I say soon. I'm doing everything soon, aren't I? So obviously I won't be able to do it all soon because, um. You know, I've only got one pair of hands, but I want to do my cliffs that will be uh, near the double bridge, the double rail bridge, so I can do my cargo area that will be around there. But yeah, I want to do my wonderful power functions build before Christmas. I also want to start on the fairground. I'll never get to this fairground, will I? Uh, and talking of fairgrounds, somebody suggested that I uh, extend my Venus drop ride to three of these pieces rather than two. Uh, and I saw that this vendor had one of these for, I don't know, it's about 25p or something like that. So I thought, yeah, I'll get it while I see it, and then I can try it. The only thing is that that uh, ride is sort of done by gravity. It's one of those vertical drop rides. So if it goes all the way up to the top and has to fall the height of three of these, which is about 30 brick height, it might be too noisy just with a thud, or it might even get caught, or it's quite a delicate mechanism in many respects. So... Bigger might be better most of the time, but in this case, it might not work. But if not, I'll just use it to support something or other uh, at a later date. Oh, and talking of good ideas, somebody had a good idea to use this minifigure, which is the Toy Story alien. Let's just build him. Oh, mm, 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 oh golly, that's a tight head. You can tell this is new. Very stiff to put together. Oh, there we go. So you'll all be familiar probably with the Toy Story alien. Uh, he came with a few sets, uh, including 10771, 
which is the Carnival Thrill Coaster. Uh, I don't know how much of a thrill coaster that really is, given that it's completely flat. Uh, it's got a cool caterpillar on it, but I think it's a bit against trading standards to call that a thrill coaster. Uh, anyway, this uh, was never going to be part of my city, but somebody suggested that my arcade claw game, where you know you control the claw to kind of grab a toy, uh, in which these were the prize at, uh, in that film, it'd be funny if he was playing that game. I thought that might be fun. I'm not sure it's going to work with him being right next to uh, normal inhabitants of my city. But then arguably he could be a 3D sign on top of it as well. He's kind of in a wrong colour scheme because uh, I think that's yellow from memory. But nonetheless, he's a fun guy. Uh, and he was about £2, I think. So I got him. Another minifigure. Can you guess what his name is? Yep, he's Scott. He's a Ninjago character. I don't really know much about that, but I just loved his pieces. Uh, he's from that Gamers Market set, 71708. And he's got two sides of his head. One's got that sort of smile with this speckling on. And the other side, he's kind of got a mask on. Yeah, I don't really know which one I prefer. But um, he's got the wrong skin tone, really, for my city. Unless there's something incredibly wrong with him. So I could always use those hands and that face uh, in my hospital. But largely speaking, I bought him for his wonderful hoodie, his wonderful hat, and his wonderful torso, and even his nice trousers. So basically, if I get rid of those hands and replace them with yellow, and give him a nice yellow uh, head as well, I think he'll look like a cool biker or... I don't know, skater or something like that. So, yeah, I really like him, uh, just not his skin tone. So I'll put him there. Uh, oh, I must have had some cheap white bricks as well, except these are the um, two by two by three. So it's kind of like three joined together. So they're useful for support as well. Usually very cheap because they're quite hard to use. And then very last but very not least, something else that's vital for my Halloween special. And it is a bag, which I'm going to open, of these... Oh, I've not really seen these before. Oh, lost one already. Slime pieces. Ooh, which I can use to decorate all of the ghosts that will be in part four uh, of my Halloween special. So let's go through these. What have I got? I think there's two of everything. So I've got two sort of big splats with a bar on. Can you see that? There we go. So that's quite good. It's got a bar on both sides. So I think you can either stack these or just put them in people's hands or all sorts of things like that. So I've got, uh, have I got two of those? Yeah, I've got two of those. Then there's another type of splat. Now I think that hole is probably the right size to go around somebody's neck, is it? Yeah, there we go. I think that's where that's supposed to go. So it's almost like a collar. Don't know why the head would be going splat, but nonetheless, there we go. So there's a sort of collar piece. So I'll be able to use that on one of my ghosts easily. Have I got two of that? No, there's only one of that one, it would seem. Then I've got two of these, which are kind of like a slime trail, and they've got a handle on. So I think they're used more like somebody's throwing some slime or something like that. Let's see if I can get him to grip it. Oh, it's proving a bit more difficult than you'd expect. There we go. Yeah, that's kind of like a slime hand, isn't it? That's quite cool, actually. I like that. It's kind of like he's got a, he's punching somebody, but he's leaving a sort of slime trail in its wake. That's that's really quite gruesome. Um, so that's fun. Uh, so there's two of that one. Then I've got two of this, which is great. Big claw. Oh, I'll definitely be able to use these. Definitely. These will make my ghosts a lot more scary. Oh, look at that. Imagine you've got two of those on. It looked well scary. Oh, yes. Right, well, they are definitely getting used, aren't they? They're almost like big monster feet. Yep, so I like those. I've got two of those, obviously. And then I've got two of these. And these almost look like energy things. Again, you grab almost like big boxing gloves. And it reminds me of some big fists you used to be able to get uh, for Ultra Agents. Things like Tremor, that character. So... Ah, there we go. So he's got big, big energy hands there with the slime on. Yeah, so they're really good pieces. I like those all a lot. So that was well worth getting. 
uh, and another vital part of my haunted setup, as I say, and that will make it all a lot better uh, for our next video. Wonderful! What a great haul! So all in all, a really good order, actually. Very clean pieces and very diverse. I've got lots of lovely minifigure pieces like Scott, uh, the Toy Story alien, and these lovely torsos and leg pieces from uh, assorted series minifigures. Got some really interesting feature pieces like this Overwatch dome here and Jose's Inn and even my little winky dot piece. Uh, and then I've got the stickers for a very interesting future noodle bar uh, for the build that we're going to have uh, on Friday, finishing off the subway, including all of these wonderful energy pieces and claws and so on. So I'm really looking forward to using those. So yeah, a really good haul. So as always, thank you very much for watching. It is appreciated. Do remember to like, comment and subscribe for more awesome LEGO videos. And if you value this channel, there are many ways in which you can support it. Do see the description below. So next time on Robin Hood Bricks, it will be no surprise to you to hear that we'll be finishing off our Halloween build of our lovely haunted subway system. Can't wait. See you then.